The Blue Fox Once upon a time, in a lush green jungle, there lived a fox, who, although cunning, was very, very lazy. Oh, how wonderful it would be if meals came to me instead of me going after them! Oh, how wonderful it would be if the water from the river glided in the air, only to enter through my mouth and quench my thirst! Oh, how wonderful it would be if the sun softened its rays on me. Is that too much to ask for? Yes. The fox was not just lazy, but also a daydreamer. He would lay all day under the shade of the tree and dream about a world where he was the king and everyone followed his orders. All hail the fox king! All hail the fox king! All hail the fox king! That would be all. Where is my food, dude? Huh? Lion? Um, I... I... How dare you, Lion? How dare you? Uh, how dare I what? Huh? Oh, uh, I was... I was dreaming. How dare you talk to me like that in your dream? Um... Oh my, um... <laughs> the angry lion whimpered furiously and ran after the fox. The poor fox ran for his life and did not look back, unbeknownst that he had now crossed the jungle and had entered the village. That's when he stopped, huffing and puffing. He looked back. <gasps> oh, stupid lion. One day he will be my servant. Hmm. And saying so, off he went deeper inside the village. Man, look at this! What a beautiful life! They have shelters, they can collect water and food, and add spices to their meat! Mmm! Oh, if this isn't living the dream, then what is? Hey, Rudy! Who is that chomping his way into our village? Whoever it is, he isn't one of us! We must chase it out before the villagers start liking his kind. You speak my mind, brother. Let's go. Oh, hey there, fellas. My name is... But the dogs wouldn't listen. They barked loudly and charged towards him. What? No! I think there is a misunderstanding. Ah! The fox turned around and ran as they chased him, trying to drive him away. The fox ran with all his might, but could feel the dogs nearing on him. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? In his hurry to escape, he entered a house of a washerman. But as he tried to hide, he slipped and fell into a tub full of blue-colored dye. The dogs that chased after him couldn't spot him anywhere. Looks like the foreigner has fled. Uh, yeah, no one messes with us, eh? <laughs> Happy and proud, the dogs left, and out came the fox. Oh, what a life! Get chased by a lion first, and then by these stupid hounds! Sad and dejected, the fox went back to the jungle, unbeknownst that he was now completely blue in color. The other animals who saw him were taken aback. OMG! Who's that? More like, what's that? Run for your lives! The fox was shocked to see the other animals running away from him, but didn't think much of it and went straight to the river to quench his thirst. Even there, the birds flew away as soon as they saw him. Run! That's the strangest animal we have ever seen! Huh? What's going on? Why are they scared of me? Then, as he was about to drink water from the river, he saw his reflection and was filled with awe. He realized why all the animals were terrified of him. He got an idea. The fox then walked proudly to the large boulder, which was the lion's throne, and sat on it. Then he called out to the other animals. Friends, gather here, please. Unsure and skeptical, all the animals gathered around him. Even the king of the jungle who now looked timid. Friends, why do you run away from me like that? I assure you, there is no need to fear me. 
You don't know me, but I am a special creation of God. And he, before sending me here, told me that the animals in this jungle had no ruler who is worthy, and so nominated me to be your king. Oh, man! So from today onwards, I will be the king of this forest and rule over all of you. He also instructed me to rule better. This way, you all can live safely under the umbrella of my protection. Is that understood? Yes! Yes! All the animals accepted him as their king, and soon the fox began to live a life that he had always wanted. Where is my food, lion? C coming, your highness. He sat and watched as the other animals performed for him, hunted for him, and brought water to him. He would organize games and events and make the animals perform while he would laze and eat and drink. Now, everyone, form a queue and march past the tree. And Mr. Frog, no jumping around. What? This went on for several days, and the fox became lazier and greedier by the day. I want all the animals to play hide-and-seek, and I will watch. <laughs> Man, this is the life. Now one evening, which was like any other evening, while the fox was holding court, something unusual happened. The fox heard the howling of other foxes from the neighboring jungle. Thrilled by the sound of his own ilk, he failed to keep his excitement and started loudly responding in his natural voice which was known by all, howling. The lions and other animals immediately recognized that their king was after all a fox, and nothing precious, dangerous, different, or unique creature. He wasn't a godsend after all, they realized. What next? They all pounded on him and chased him to the river, where he swam and lost all his colors. You cheater! If I ever see you in my kingdom, I swear to God I will finish you. The fox, now ashamed and humiliated, left and was never seen again. He wandered from forest to forest, lazing around, asking for acceptance from the animals. But his story had spread, and everyone knew what he was. The fox finally realized that excessive greed is harmful and there is no shortcut to hard work.